Just leg it? Why well, you got your waders on? What's on your head? I'll tell you about that later. But for now, I've had an absolute nightmare. One past seven in the morning, that is. And I've lost my magnet in the river. I'm going in. We'll have to ask him about what's on his head later on. Because that really is something, isn't it? Right, are you ready, Leggett? I think so, bro. But I'm absolutely freezing. Come on then. That's what you get at seven in the morning. You be careful in there. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> What's there a step? <laughs> you be, you be careful. <laughs> How deep is it, Leggett? Hit the bottom, I think. To be oh, fair. too well. Too well. Is it going to get deeper? You aren't even wet yet. Come on, give them some viewing. Get that thing up. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> oh, he's done Easy. it. Right, to set the scene, which we haven't done yet because Leggett was in his way, is we are at Cossie Mill. How do you say it, Leggett? Sluice. Sluice or slice, something like that. Leggett's got his magnet free, but we've spotted a safe in there. So we're just going to go and have a look and see if it's empty or not. What do you reckon, Leggett? Uh, I think it's full of old bars, to be honest. Yeah, so do I. It's the safe door. Come on, Leggett. Nice and gently, one at a time. Go on, Leggett. Oh. Well done. Jesus. <sighs> I'm off the bed. No, you aren't. So, as you can see, we've got it out of the river now. If you come close up here quickly, Miller. See this here? Dudley, and a picture of a castle. King Dudley owned Cossey Castle over that direction over there, over the moorlands. Now, this is the safe door to his King Jules vault, where his queen would put her jewels as well. But yeah, we found a key earlier as well in the same river. I assume that go in there like that, you give that a twist, like one of the ways, and you open it, and then he can put his crown on for dinner. Are you going to try and sell that to Dodgy Damien then, Leggett? I don't know, Miller, to be honest with you, mate. As you know, viewers, Dodgy Damien has been a right run with us recently. He's been doing us wrong. And I don't know. What do you think, viewers? Hashtag down with Dodgy Damien, or hashtag another grand? Hey, what you got in the old frequencies today then, bud? We've got a bit of the Beatles. We are old at heart. We love a bit of 60s. So, yeah, twist and shout to start us off. We're on the way to the city. That everyone. That is disgusting. Eating at the wheel. What are you doing, mate? That's got green on, I'm allowed. We're at the Duke's Wharf car park again. Miller's got his hat on. Just make sure I pack my sandwiches. Oh, all this food. Hey, anyway, guys, we're now walking to Gunny Spot again. But here we have a new sluice. The new mill sluice, just like the Cossie sluice that we saw earlier. So here we are, we're back in Norwich this week. We've come back to explore some old spots that we've been to in the past. Have we, Leggett? Yeah, we have. We're going to the Gunny Spot, the Red Bridge Spot, and the Banksy Artwork Spot just down there. So we'll get back to you with what we find. Stuart White at the Geese, you need to sack your weather people because they said that was going to be sunny today. It's snowing. Look at this. We are quickly here. Look at this, Miller. <laughs> Look what I just pulled out of the river. Now, this is the same spot we found the sawn off shotgun. And I just had a little chuck over there, didn't I? Come back over here. Now, I found this. It's a weapon, isn't it, mate? It's an absolute cleaver blade. This could have been thrown in at the same time as the sawn off shotgun as a duo bank job scenario situation thing. Now, I'll clean that up and, oh, that could take an arm off. One past 12, you know what that means? It's dinner time. Now, I've just found this pork luncheon meat in the river. If you have a look on the back of here, it says best before end June 2022. Still edible. Now, if you know, I'm a vegetarian, but I've got the man for this. My girlfriend's dad loves luncheon meat and he'll give me a quid for this, I reckon. What do you reckon, Leggett? Go on, give it a squeeze. That's worth a quid, isn't it? Right, just walking to the next spot now. Are you out right with that barra, Miller? Yes, thank you, Leggy. Right, everyone, we're outside the canoe man where we found that Olympic torch, if you remember. Scroll down to our videos and you'll see Michael Phelps' Olympic torch. Anyway, if you have a look here, some people have been here already. There's been metal all over the place. Come and have a look at this. Metal there, metal around there. Up. Some more luncheon meat here, but in there, but without the meat, so it's not worth much. But yeah, 
take your metal home, please, because you're getting the metal out of the river and polluting the side. Please, bring a wheelbarrow and take it home. I've been trying to pluck up the courage to ask Leggett what's on his bonnet. I don't know if it's a phase or an accident or something's happened to him, but I've been trying to keep him away from the road today because the cars keep thinking he's an amber traffic light, I think. They keep stopping. But... What do you want to be? Oh, don't worry, Leggett. What you got already? Let's have a look. Let me pull it out for you guys. Oh, look at this. You all know what these are. This is, yet again, another antique safety deposit box. We find these all the time. Usually they're full of gold, but this one, it looks like it's been opened. Let me give it a bash. Make sure the gold didn't fall in the river, leg it. Oh no, don't worry about that. If the gold did fall in the river, that'd float to the surface. Fortunately, this one's empty, so better luck next time. What I will do though with this one is go to Dodgy Damien and try and make a truce with him and give it to him for free. Whoa, 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 leg it, leg it, come on. You're gonna have to talk to us all now. What's that about? What's on your bonnet? Oh, let me come up then. Well, is it a story, is it? Well, I've got something to tell you. Come on then. Basically, me and my old man were doing a job for Delia Smith, right? We were in her bathroom descaling her shower heads. She's got three showers. Anyway, I was there under the shower heads. We'd done our bit on them. I was watching some of the outtakes from last week's video. Go check it out if you haven't seen them. And I didn't realise I had bleach dripping all over my head the whole time. I was there for about 10 minutes. I didn't have a clue. I walk home, I look in the mirror. What a mess. So I'm now going to go to hairdresser Helen and see if she'll work her wonders on my hair and pull me out of this nightmare. Now I've just found this about five minutes ago. This is a, such an interesting find. This is an Argentinian back scratcher. And I know this because if you look at this crest here on the Argentinian flag in the centre, you will see this symbol. And to make it even better, leg it, just have a look at that. Them initials just there. Can you see them? M? Yeah, I can definitely see it on there. Yeah, well, M means Maradona. Now, this piece dates back to 1966, when England won the World Cup. Maradona was only six at the time, but this back scratcher was essential. He had such a hairy back that he needed this every five minutes to itch the bottom of his back. Backstreet Brian's granddad prescribed it, and he said he needed this back scratcher. Diddy key. A tin full of nothing. A luminous necklace. Harris paintbrush. Coat hanger for the wardrobe. Nasty old pen knife. A Gretel drill bit. And Michael Phelps's swimming medal. Leg it. What are you doing down there? Hey, I'm loading up the coins up the magnets and pulling them up towards you. Car charger. Yeah, I'll be up. So we've done the old up to me, and I heard a big old splash. <laughs> Leg it. I got wet after all, didn't I? <laughs> Did you lose your foot, mate? Yeah, I slipped a little bit. <laughs> so here we are, we've just finished up in the centre of Norwich, reminiscing at our old spots, we've found some fantastic finds. My most favourite find was the luncheon meat. I'll take that to Mick later on, get my quid, and he can have it with his tea. What do you reckon, Leggett? I reckon spend that quid wisely. My favourite find was the meat cleaver. I'll take that home, put it in the dishwasher, and I'll use it in our next barbecue. Anyway, that's enough chucking for one day. See you in the next one. What are you taking your shoes off for, Leggett? You're going to get cold on the way home. Nah, bruh. These are soaking wet. If I don't take these off, I'll get hypochondria.